Well, there were many Super Bowl parties uh, over the weekend, of course, uh, yesterday for the big game itself. And one in Park Rapids, though, decided to have fun without alcohol. Our own Sherelle Moore takes into the big game party with a twist for this week's Community Spotlight. Super Bowl Sunday is a day to hang out with family, friends, even pups, and enjoy some football, commercials, and a big musical number at halftime. But for some, finding a place to party without pressure can be tough. It's a neutral place, it's, and everybody is very friendly, and um, the food's been great. <laughs> The staff at A Better Connection in Park Rapids came up with the idea to throw a sober bowl party from a newsletter sent out by the Hazleton Betty Ford Graduate School of Addiction Studies. They created Hawk to help those in the Park Rapids community. Um, we're still pretty new. Uh, we just had our open house a couple weeks ago. When a person um, looks at a lot of events that are held in the community and when we actually start to um, identify those that um, have alcohol served and those that do not have alcohol served, that it actually is a lot of family events that have alcohol served. Now the Silver Bowl party had everything that pretty much any party would have. You had the friends, the food, the big game on a big screen. But there's absolutely no pressure to drink. I think it's really important to have some place where you can go where there's no pressure, like to use narcotics or alcohol. If there wasn't places like this, then I wouldn't be able to connect with new, with people in the community that are wanting to be sober. I know that from working and living in this area my whole life that it's very, it's needed a lot. Door prizes were given to attendees during commercial breaks to add to the big game excitement. And while this was the first Sober Bowl, organizers say it will not be the last. In fact, they're hoping to throw even more sober events in the future. If, you know, the community members have any suggestions, we want this to be kind of taken over by the community and, uh, and run and like, motivated by what people want. Reporting in Park Rapids with this week's Community Spotlight, Sherelle Moore, Lakeland News. And if you have a suggestion for a better connection, they can be reached through Facebook. We have a link on our website at lptv.org. If you enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland PBS.